It's been a while since I was on this channel, but now I'm back and today I'll be featuring my sister. Hi, I'm Sunny and we'll be doing a fun baking challenge. So this baking challenge is really simple. We'll both be making different recipes. This will be judged on three components and they are the appearance, the taste, and how smooth the process of making them was. So we'll be both judging ours and each other's. We'll just trust each other to be honest. So what I'll be making is a rectangular tiramisu cake with layers of sponge, coffee, and cream cheese filling topped with cocoa powder and chocolate decorations. This is based on the Great British Bake Off's recipe. And I'll be making a simple apple pie, but the filling and the crust will be from different recipes. We'll be linking all the recipes that we use down below. So let's get to baking and stay tuned to the end of this video to see how our recipes turned out. Hi guys, so here I am in the kitchen and these are the ingredients for the cake. So here we have regular sugar that I'm gonna grind into caster sugar, butter, self-raising flour that I made myself, and four eggs. Here are the ingredients for the cream frosting. Powdered sugar, chocolate I'm gonna shave, heavy cream, boiling water, cocoa powder, mascarpone cheese, and instant coffee. I cut off my head and look like Mr. Mingle Butt. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna um, grind my sugar. On the other side of the kitchen, I'll whisk my eggs and sugar together. So I had some trouble with the first egg. Bruh. A few moments later. <laughs> the others went much more smoothly though. Two hours later. Eventually. Now I can finally bake the cake. I put it very carefully in the oven. For about 15 minutes. Meanwhile. Then I started making the cream filling with my three ingredients. I just mixed them together until thick. For the coffee part, all I did was make some coffee and let it chill. Now, I'm cutting dark chocolate. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, watch this, watch this. What? No, just chop. Then, my cake finished baking. A toothpick came out clean, as you can see. Oh my gosh! I flipped it onto a rack no. and peeled off the bottom parchment. Wow! Whoa. For the decorations, I started melting chocolate chips. I had a lot of fun drawing with the chocolate. Then, it was finally time to assemble my cake. First, I cut my cake into fourths. On top of the first layer goes coffee, cream, and chocolate shavings. Then, I just repeated the process. I tried to frost the sides, but it got too messy. Finally, I topped it off with chocolate shavings and my decorations. And here's the finished product. We will now rank this based on appearance first. So I think for appearance, it could have 
have been better. Wait, what would a five be? Five yes. would be how you described it. Oh. Okay. So I would give mine, based on appearance, a three out of five. A five, it would be like sellable quality on the show. So I think this might be a one or a two. This is a masterpiece. It's not very professional or clean looking. Even by the standards of like home baking, I have to give it a 1.5. What do you rate it 1 to 5? 5 plus! Yeah! What? <laughs> no! What? what do you rate it 1 out of 5 based on appearance? 5 Just plus! Appearance. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit, I didn't get the last one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! wow. What would you rate it out of five? Mm. A coffee flavor is really nice, except the cake is not super fine. But I like the crunch of the little chocolate. Just tell me, what, what do you rate it out of five? Like, four. What would you rate it out of five? 4.25. Yeah. This cake is a little bit too crunchy. 就是跟买的那个比啊,没有买的那么细致,但是这个cream可以得五分 What would you rate out of five? 4.8 I think it tastes a lot like the tiramisu cakes that we've bought from bakery So I rate this taste of 4.5 Begin. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna be baking my apple pie right now. So first I'm going to cut up the butter into little pieces while making sure everything is coated with flour. This makes sure that the butter won't melt too much when I'm incorporating it with the flour so then the crust will be very flaky. Then I'm pouring in a mixture of egg yolks and water a little bit at a time until the dough sticks together when I squish it. Whoa! Looks like it might be a little too dry, but oh well. I'm going to form it into a disc and then chill it for at least half an hour. Now for the filling. I'm going to start by peeling all of these apples. After that, I cut all the apples into slices with the help of my sister. I put some lemon juice in the apples to prevent them from browning and some salt and sugar to marinate them. What goes on? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the recipe for the sauce calls for some butter, flour, brown and white sugar, and half a cup of water. But I also added vanilla, cinnamon, and... <laughs> salt! First, I melted the butter in a pot. Once the butter is melted, I add in the flour, the sugar, and water. Then I added salt and cinnamon. Then I stirred over medium heat until it thickened. By now, the dough has chilled and I'm going to roll it out. I probably didn't add enough liquid before, which is why it's so dry and there are a lot of cracks. But we're just gonna roll with it. I transferred it using a rolling pin to a cake pan because I don't have a pie pan. Looks like the crust is a little small, but it all worked out in the end. After rolling out the top crust, I used moon and star cookie cutters to cut out shapes on top for decoration. I layered the sauce and apples in the crust. I 
I carefully put on the top crust and sealed the edges as best as I could. I used egg wash to put on the shapes and cover the entire pie. Now it's finally time to bake the pie. Midway, I covered the pie with some foil to prevent it from burning. 346 minutes later. Well, actually, about an hour later, the pie was done. After it cooled, we had to take it out of the pan. So we did this by flipping it over. Then some of the juices leaked out, unfortunately. I think I would rate my presentation maybe like a 4 out of 5. Because um, when we were transferring out of the pan, it had to be flipped over so all the juices ran out. These weren't originally on my drawing. When I decided to add them, I think it was a really great decision. So I think the presentation is... It was better when it was in the pan. When you brought it out, it lowered. So <laughs> when it first came out, I thought the presentation was 4 out of 5. But when it came out of the pan and onto a plate, it became a 3. Oh yeah, can you talk about the taste? Well, oh my god, can you just wait until it's 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Let's say it's a little bit of a taste, the taste is very good There's only one problem, this apple is not good That's it, 5 I think it's good, the apple is good, it's 4.5 Okay, I think it's good for the taste, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 Yeah, I think it's good for the taste your because, forehead looks really big. Like, give me a better angle. The apples are not supposed to become mushy in the pie. They're oh, supposed to maintain some really? of that structural integrity. Oh, oh, it's so. It is very apple pie flavory, so like, you, I think you nailed that. I would have liked it to have a little more spice flavor, so I'd say the taste is like a four. I think the crust was a really big success because um, it's really flaky and there's a lot of layers and the bottom crust is not soggy at all. So you can see how there's many layers in here. No soggy bottoms as Paul Hollywood would say. Now that we're done making everything, we're gonna look back and see how the processes went. For mine, the process overall went a lot smoother than I thought, but that might be because sometimes I received some tips from Sunny as well as our mom. I'd rank my process a 4 out of 5. Oh, okay. Well, I think I would rank your process a 4 out of 5 too. Because there were no major mishaps, but then you did receive a lot of help. Oh. Otherwise, it may not have been possible. Oh, what? I didn't think it would have been possible. <laughs> so moving on to Sunny's. I actually rank my process 5 out of 5. I think it was it went really smoothly. There were pretty much no mishaps and I didn't really receive that much outside help. Well, on the contrary, I think I helped Sunny quite a lot. As you can see, my hands were in her <laughs> clips a lot of the time. It was because you wanted to help. The things that you were doing were like, how do I say it? It was not non essential. The way that you helped me and the way that Mama helped you were different. But I would think that your process is a four out of five. We're not at the same level. So for our overall scores, we basically took the average of each category amongst the people who ranked it. For my appearance was 2.25 out of 5, taste was 4.4 out of 5, and process was 4 out of 5. For Sunny's appearance, it was 3.5 out of 5, taste 4.3 out of 5, and process 4.5 out of 5. 
So based on these scores, it would seem like <laughs> that Sunny won this baking challenge. I'm so honored to nobody uh, asked for an acceptance speech. I express my gratitude to myself who made this happen. So that's the end of our baking challenge. I think we both had a lot of fun making and tasting our delicacies. And like and subscribe. <laughs>